Hey guys, Fridgeos here. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on submarines and submarine ballast systems because I see a lot of people making the same mistake over and over, which isn't their fault because it make it does actually work. Like the system will work this way, but and it makes sense this way. But yeah, it's not not the way they actually want you to do it and still works. So I don't think it is. It's not the best way to do it. So this is my example sub, and this is how people try to do it. And this is the way it makes sense, like I said, but it doesn't work that great. So we've got a submarine, yellow submarine, hooray. We've got a gray ballast tank. And into that ballast tank, we have these pink pumps. They'll pump water into the ballast tank. And at the same time, this air valve will open up and let air out of the ballast tank. So the air has been replaced with the water. And then when we want to ex um, empty the ballast tank, we have these red pumps. They pump water out. They've got fluid valves, so they won't pump any air out. And at the same time, we have compressed air tanks here that will let air in through these valves. So that's the way people think it should work. And that's the way it should work, to be fair. And it does work, to be fair. So if I spawn it now, whoops, we go have a look at it. So if we want to start the sink, we can just pump in. So right now we're pumping water in and we're letting the air out. And you see it does work. And this will increase in speed as we get deeper just because of the pressure. But yep, pumping in. Filling the ballast tank will start sinking soon. Bear in mind that this is a very small ballast tank and a small submarine, obviously, and a lot of pumps. So if you're actually doing a big sub with a big ballast tank for that same volume, you know, you think about multiplying four pumps by this much, by that much volume. But it works. Yep, we're sunk, sinking. Hit the floor soon. Here we go, hit the floor. We'll stop that. So, and then if we want to leave, we're going to start pumping the water out and we're going to put compressed air in at the same time to help those pumps. And you'll see at the start, it'll do a big burst and you'll think, wow, that's great. So, one, two, three. Look at it. Wow. Oh. <laughs> so, at, at the start, it will do that big thing as the pressure comes through, but it's pretty slow and it's complicated and you're using energy to do it. Bear in mind, like I said, this will get way slower as your tank gets bigger, and it will get way slower as you get deeper in the ocean. But it works. But you have people doing this, because it's what makes sense, and then they'll say, oh, my sub takes you know, an hour to fill the ballast tanks. And I've been there, <laughs> I've been that guy, so I'm just trying to explain how this works. But yeah, we're on the surface again, and we're still pumping out, but whatever. So that's the way people think it should work. And it does work, obviously, like I said. But this, <laughs> this is how you should do it. Uh, no pumps. Two doors. One, two. One on the bottom, one on the top. Uh, the ports on the other example, and even these ports here, they don't matter. They can go anywhere in the ballast tank. Um, what matters, though, are the doors. They have to be one top, one bottom, like, orientated that way. But once you've done that and you've got some um, valves, one, two, same thing, just letting the compressed air in, and I'll show you how this works. So this one, you want to fill your ballast tanks. I'll wait till we get to the surface so it's fair. So we want to fill our ballast tanks. What do we do? Open both doors, top door, bottom door. We got top door, bottom door. So what's happening right now, the water is coming in this top uh, bottom door and pushing the air out the top door. So it's filling. It's filling not too much faster, if not you know similar speed to the other other time. But bear in mind we're not using any electricity to do this. We used electricity to open the doors, and that's it. So we're doing this essentially for free. And it looks like we're sinking now. Yep. And when we do it the other way around, it's the same thing. Uh, you have to obviously spend energy to compress the air, but actually um, blowing the ballast tank takes practically zero energy. So we're on the bottom, we've got a full tank. What do we do now? Open the bottom tank, leave the top one closed. So closed, open, and then we're gonna hit the compressed air and you'll be quite surprised how fast this happens. So dump, shoom. So once again, the only energy we just spent was opening the compressed air valve, and we're done already. Close the bottom door, let the air off, done. And if you want to let the um, 
So if you want to let the extra pressure out, you can just open this briefly. But yeah, or turn that um, valve on. So yeah, that's how you do it. It's just straight sliding doors or whatever door, electric doors, real doors, doesn't matter. The actual physical hole in your hull is actually what matters the most, not using ports and pumps. So I hope that cleared some things up. I hope you can make some cool subs now. Um, yeah, any other tutorials you want to see or anything else, you, any other questions, just hit me up. Sweet. See you later.